fighting. Don't go away. Whatever starts right now. He's the wacky magician from the teen sitcom Saved by the Bell. And this summer, he's performing at Valley Fair. Next, Anthony meets Ed Alonzo, the misfit of magic. Here we go. There's a card right here. You're performing here all summer. What can people expect when they come to see your show? Oh, you know what? You can expect good fun times. My show is, is uh, not unlike one of the big rides in the park where you're going up and down like a roller coaster, yeah. but you're sitting in here and you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I, I, girls are popping out of nowhere. I, I have my partner Bob the Duck in the show. In fact, there's one trick that I do where I make Bob disappear up on the big stage and he appears out in the audience. So uh, just be careful where you sit. <laughs> okay, magic. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Is there a lot of preparation that goes into the tricks you do? I mean, how long does it take from when you think of one to when you actually perform it? You know, sometimes I have um, ideas for years and years, and I never know really how to solve them because these things are, are, are big science projects, yeah. uh, really. So you, you come up with, you know, the, the idea of what's supposed to happen, and then you have to figure out uh, how it's going to work technically. So sometimes it can be years and years, and then other times it just hits me right away, and I, I come up with a solution. Uh, your shirt, uh, this tag is sticking out. Let's get that. That never looks good. You should, whoops. Oh, okay. All right. Do you always carry this with you? This do you get to do a lot of a lot of just just random improv stuff while you're in this middle? Yeah, if the audience is is uh, is hip and they're and they're ready to see uh, some craziness, um, I I've been known to do some 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 crazy things, <laughs> but not often. <laughs> but every once in a while, I'll just break into like an improv mode. It just never ends. Just whoops, there's the problem right there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, I guess you're in training. <laughs> My ideas, people say to me, like you, where do you get your ideas? A lot of times um, I, I get them in dreams um, or um, like this, there's an illusion I do in the show with a fan mm. where I turn a super powerful fan on and then I begin yeah. to levitate and float. I got that idea by watching a cartoon where a little boy had a fan on and he turned the fan on and then he blew, up, blew away and I thought that's such a great visual. If I could do that in a live stage show, that would be fantastic. Hairspray. Whoop. You were the winner of yes. the, the two-time winner yes. of the Stage, Stage Magician of the Year Award. By the Academy of Magical Arts. This is uh, equal to, uh, if I just did acting full-time and I dabble in it part-time whenever they'll hire me, yeah. uh, this is equal to like the Oscars, uh, but in magic. So yes, uh, I was the winner. <laughs> yeah, the winner, I'm the winner. What was that? <laughs> what is the key to being a great magician? Hmm. I'm not sure, um, but when I get there, I'll let you know. No, I think the key um, for me, uh, thinking of the audience first, really, really entertaining them. I think people are always looking for, for new things. So I try and, and keep it fresh, try and keep, keep up with the times, and, and, uh, and try and do magic that I think the audience is interested in watching, even if it's a little crazy or goofy. There we go, huh? Thank you. Ow, he bit me. Goodness sakes. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not a real bird, okay? <laughs> I mean, he used to be. What advice do you have for me, somebody who wants to get into this art, this craft? If you like doing it, uh, you know, dabble in the small close-up magic, mm -hmm. work your way up to, uh, to, you know, the stage illusions and things, and just, uh, you know, try and bring smiles to people's faces. And if they don't, I actually go out there and manipulate their mouth <laughs> into this position. The three of hearts! Thanks, and I look forward to seeing the show. Good job. Thanks so much. No, no problem. He's good. <laughs> I don't know if this is his first day or not, but he's good. If I could blush, I would. Yeah.